Yeah, uh, well, I'm in the Vancouver area, British Columbia, um, in Canada, and uh, where I work and all that part of my role is called community engagement. So I keep on on tabs, you know, with whatever addiction recovery conversations are going on in social media, and we get more into why later on. But I, you know, today's been a fiery day. We have here in BC a top medical doctor, so she was, you know, the person that kind of did all the COVID stuff. And you know, did the press releases every day for COVID, and she, she carries a lot of weight, especially in the province of BC. She actually has authority here. Some provinces they're just a figurehead, but she actually has authority over the government when there's a health crisis, and the overdose crisis is a health crisis. Oh. Um, and and so the response to it hasn't been like COVID, but the, just trying to give you why this is important. So she's the top doc in BC. And so many people look to Vancouver as this state-of-the-art, innovative, progressive, uh, harm reduction response to addiction that works, that's evidence-based. And Dr. Bonnie Henry and the BCCSU, they're all at the top of that. Like They're the ones that everybody goes goo-goo-gaga over when they're at a conference or when their lips stop moving. Anyway, today a news clipping came out, and I don't know if it's a slip. I don't know if it's a misquote, but it's like a big news company. Company. It's not just a rag bag. And, uh, and she goes on by saying uh, abstinence is an important treatment modality for people who have addictions, but not for opiate addiction. Uh, opiate addiction is chronic relapsing. So she goes on to say that um, some doctors are encouraging patients to quit doing drugs. This shows a lack of understanding of the complex issues at work. So basically, she's saying, don't tell opiate addicts to stop using. They'll have to use for the rest of their life or be a patient of some form, safe supply for the rest of their lives, that recovery, especially abstinence, does not work for opiate addicts. So that kind of put us all on fire today because I work in a treatment center called Last Door which pretty much more than three quarters of the staff are opiate addicts in recovery. We have tons of friends that are in recovery from opiate addicts, and we've been around for 40 years. We have thousands of opiate addicts that are in recovery, abstinence recovery. So number one, how disrespectful to their journeys. Yeah. Like you owe them an apology. Like, how dare you just take them out of the narrative of your public policy to push your safe supply agenda? Whether or not you agree with safe supply or not, I, I'm I like Switzerland's model of safe supply. I don't like Canada's model of safe supply. Switzerland has what they call high threshold safe supply. Here mm -hmm. they're just giving it out like tic tacs. But to go on carte blanche and just say, hey, you're an opiate addict, you're never gonna stop using. So you know what? You're just just don't stop. 